something that anyone can deny. And what is now happening in a sham is both, both intervention within and outside. And it is yet to come. A sham, however, is totally different to the rest of the world. It is different to Iraq. It is different to Egypt. It is different to everything. A sham means Lebanon, Syria, parts of Jordan, Palestine. They call it today Israel. I'll call Israeli territories are in there. Palestine and parts of Turkey. This was a sham. Our Rasul Sallallahu said, you will also get into a war with the Jews. This type of war that we are in is not like any war you've ever seen before. We are now currently in there. Who are we? Meaning mostly the Arab lands. For Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in Musnad Ahmad, he said, you will fight the Jews, meaning the Zionists who are occupying Israel now, uh, Palestine is Israel. على نهر في الأردن أنتم شرقيه وهم غربيه At the cross or the section of a river that is in Jordan, you will be on its east and they will be on its west bank. That is today. The narrator of this hadith says, Wallahi, I did not know where Jordan is. In those days, there's no such thing as Jordan. No one knew Jordan. It was always called Sham. Remember? After World War I, it became, or just before that, it became Jordan. The name came out later. Later, later. Hundreds of years after the Prophet ﷺ. How did the Prophet ﷺ know this? Because he's a messenger of Allah. He doesn't speak out of his own desires. Except from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, you will fight them, be in battle with them at that river that is in Jordan, which divides you from the west. They'll be on the west, you'll be on the east. And there is a river there that has dried out a few years ago. Subhanallah. He said, there hasn't come an affliction, a trial greater from the time of Adam. This hadith in Sahih Muslim. From the time of Adam until the end of time, a trial more vicious, more harsher, more deceiving, more upon you than the fitna of Dajjal. When he comes out, it will be very difficult to stand your ground. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he tells us, the believers will unknow him from three letters on his forehead, kafir or kufr, and the rest of the world will follow him. The weak believers will follow him, and he will not be able to enter Mecca or Medina. And then Isa alayhi salam will destroy him. This will happen in Palestine. And the Mahdi will rise in Asham, in Syria, in Damascus. And there will be a great war between the Romans, Europeans of today, 80 flags against the Muslim nation by itself in Asham. It is going to happen soon. After Egypt loses its currency, Al Mahdi will come out. So these are only the beginning of the beginning of what is yet to come, brothers and sisters. What has happened to Iraq 